Hi, this is Phil from Try It Streaming. And in this video, I'm going to do an overview of the build that I put on the fire sticks that I'm selling. Uh, we'll start out with local now. Well, let me, before we do that, let me, I'm going to hit the home button on my remote so you can see where we're starting from. At, at home, when you get at home and you're on your internet, this is where you're going to be. Okay, so let's scroll down to where it says local now. And as you can see, that's in a row called your apps and channels. Those are the things that I've installed. Local now is basically the same thing as Bay News 9. It gives you the local weather and sports scores and what's playing in the theaters and local news and a little bit of national news and whatever. It's on a loop. And every 10 or 12 minutes or whatever it is, it will repeat itself. Okay. Uh, this here uh, will open up, as you can see up on the top right, it's where it's set for Tampa. If I hit the up arrow button on the remote, you can see where it says Tampa. And if I hit the enter button on the remote, I will be able to add a new location, as you can see. And there you would just add a zip code as to wherever you are. Uh, I have a lot of uh, snowbirds that have more than one zip code in there and then they can scroll back and forth and pick the one they want. You can have up to six at one time. Okay, I'm gonna go back to Tampa here. Now also, because it's on a loop, you, if you want to, uh, if you want the weather or whatever it is you want, you're going to have to wait for it to come up. If you, if you just miss it, it'll be uh, ten minutes or so. But with this, you don't have to do that. You can, you can hit the down arrow on the remote, and you can scroll across to what category you want. So if you wanted uh, weather today, you could just click on that, and then in a couple of seconds, it will go to weather today except that i must have hit something wrong. oh i got the wrong one but in any case you can you can change the one you want if you want weather today we can go over there and then it'll take weather today okay uh that's pretty basic as to what it is these categories do change from time to time and also uh if there's some reason to have something special on here like a hurricane or something there will be a spot that you can click on and it'll stay on that when when those situations uh, come up like we just had one the, the other day just because of this uh, hurricane that we that they had in uh, Louisiana all right I'm just going to get out of that and we'll go back to uh, our apps and channels and I want to show you these these four apps right here Cyberflix, Kodo Movies, Cinema and TTV all four of them do basically the same thing. They will give you pretty much all the movies and TV shows that you want. They navigate a little different from each other, but if you were to lose one or the servers went down or whatever it may be, just move to another one. You can, you can get whatever it is that you were getting on the first one on that one. I'm going to show you Cyberflix. I like the way that navigates. Uh, it's something if you get used to that, you will be able to get through all the others. It's basically the same left, right, up, down, and select, and that kind of thing. All right. Uh, Cyberflix always opens up into the trending category. Okay. On the top, there's an arrow, or uh, yeah. There's, in, in blue, there's a little drop, little arrow. It's called a drop down menu. If I hit enter right now, I'll get a menu that will let me go to different categories. Okay. Okay. As you can, you can see, I don't want to move. I'm not going too fast here, but basically that's what it is. If you wanted to go to, you know, like food, TV, all the things that have come up would have something to do with food. Okay. If I can click on that. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back to the trending category because actually the trending category tells you a lot. First off, these are the things that everybody is watching on TV right now. Stranger Things, which is up in the top left corner, is at this time is the most popular thing. And Master Master Chef over here 
is the second most popular. Most probably they just had an episode last night or something. People are watching it, as you can see. All right. Now, also, we don't really know, uh, you know, what what networks these come from. I mean, we we don't deal in networks. We deal in uh, in shows. Like right, for an example, I think Big Little Lies is on uh, HBO. Game of Thrones is definitely HBO. Uh, Chernobyl is HBO. Handmaiden's Tale, I think, is uh, Hulu, uh, and so on. You, you know, you can see it doesn't really make any difference. It's just based on, uh, you know, on what's uh, what's the most popular. All right, let me show you how how this works. I'm going to go over. Actually, I'm going to go to Game of Thrones because there's a lot in there that I can I can show you. When you go into any of these apps in TV shows, no matter what category it is, whatever, as soon as you click on it, it's going to take you to this screen right here. It's going to be overview. In this case, it's Game of Thrones. The icon on the left is Game of Thrones. And then it tells you something about what it's about. Okay? When you get to that, then you want to scroll over to the right to season and click on season. Now here's all the seasons of Game of Thrones, okay? One through eight. If you've never watched it before, scroll down and go over to season one, click on that, and then scroll down and go to episode one and it'll tell you what it's about and you'll be able to play it from here. Now there's two ways you can play it. You can go up to the all the way over to the right up on top here and hit that play icon up there but that's not the easy way to do it you you won't do that what you do is this make sure the one that you want is underlined if you go and select let's see we want to do four we click on that and now we'd see what four is and that would be underlined but we don't if you never did it before go to one and then when you get there just hold the enter button down for about three seconds and now it'll go out to the internet and find all the places that it can to get Game of Thrones except one. It is not going to HBO. We don't hack HBO or this app doesn't hack HBO. It doesn't go to any of the, any of the uh, pay places like Netflix or any of those. This is going out and searching the internet basically the same way you would do if you were doing a Google search, okay? As long as that's, you can see it scrolling across the top there, it's still out on the internet trying to find places. When you first start doing this, leave this thing go for a little while so you can get a feel for all the feeds that are going to come up. And as you can see, they're gonna, it's, that screen is going to fill in, and I'm going to let you know which ones uh, are the ones that are normally the better ones. I don't, I don't have cable at home. I don't have an antenna at home. The only thing I use is is fire sticks and they just work fine for me. Okay. Now I'm going to scroll down. Now I can tell you that these are very good feeds. Okay. These all, all of these are. I don't have problems with these. Okay. I would get into one and show you, but if I do, what'll pop up, there'll be something that'll pop up that is that it has some kind of, uh, oh, you know, it belongs to HBO or it belongs to, you know, it's a, you know, YouTube, what, basically what will happen is YouTube will take the video off because it's some kind of information that you're not supposed to put on there. Okay. Uh, so anyway, let me, uh, I'm just going to back out of that. I just wanted to show you how it works. And in order to get out of it, just hit the return button on the remote and you can step right out of it. Now, let me show you something else, too. When you're in these things, let's say you did start watching Game of Thrones and now you wanted to you wanted to make sure that uh, you could get back to it easily all the time. Just go select it, hit the enter button, hold it down for a few seconds, and then this box will come up and then you can add it to your favorites. And you can do that with any of them, whether you're in TV shows or movies or whatever. So now, right now, we just put Game of Thrones in favorites, okay? Now, if we scroll up to the top and over to the top left-hand corner and we get in there, now we can go to movies, okay? Now, movies is similar, okay? 
Here we go into the most popular category. This is what people are watching. Okay, now you'll notice a lot of these are in the theaters right now, or they just left the theaters, and they're, you know, pretty modern movies. Now, most of these you're going to get, okay, uh, but there's going to be times when you're not going to, you, you may get them in what they call a cam, okay, where somebody did it with a camcorder or something. I kind of stay away from all that stuff, but in any case, let me go up to the, to the top, to that drop-down menu, and you can get some ideas on what other categories are. There's one that's in theaters right now. Uh, and like I said, it's just like the other one. Some of this stuff you'll get, some of it you won't. Some of them you just put in your favorites and just wait a week or two or something like that. Now, one of them I just did watch right over here, Rocket Man. And that was a really good movie about Elton John. And it's, we got it. So, and it wasn't a cam. All right, so let me uh, go down. I'm going to go back to that menu. And you can, there's all kinds of categories, okay? Like um, if you're into, you know, let's say Westerns, for an example, just about any Western you could want is in there. Uh, I mean, there are times when you may not get something, but I'd say the odds are with you that you will. Okay, and also you got history. All of these movies are true stories. Okay, and you also can search on stuff if you want to. Okay, there's Hallmark and Lifetime and Best Picture, Comedy Classics, Disney movies, uh, music. Actually, there's uh, Bohemian Rhapsody. Yesterday, that has something to do with the Beatles and. Okay, Rocket Man, that was the one I just told you about. Uh, Star is Born. Okay, if I wanted to put Rocket Man in there, I could put, hold it, add to favorites, and there it would be. Now, if you want to get to your favorites, when you first get in or wherever, anytime, there's three places you can go. You can go to where the star is, click on that, and there's the favorite. There's Game of Thrones, and if I scroll over to movies, there's Rock, Rocket Man. Okay, if I back out of that, even in uh, over here in the movie thing, it, here you got TV shows, movies, and then you got favorites. Okay, same thing. So you can get to it easy enough. Uh, let me back out of that a little bit and go back in here. Notice the top menu selection there is also favorites, so you can get into it that way also. Uh, okay, I think that's it for this. Let me back out of this. All right, now I'm going to just go in and out of these other ones. You'll get a feel for it. Every one of these other ones, they all have search functions. So if you were in, in watching a certain movie on the last one, you could come over here and just scroll to search, click on it. And when this menu comes up or this keyboard comes up, you can search on what you want. You can actually talk into your uh, remote using the Alexa feature and, uh, you know, that'll work. I'll give it a shot now. Ozark. Okay. Ozark was a Netflix series that... Uh, it, the series didn't end, but we're between seasons. I guess it ended uh, about four months ago and probably be back in another two or three. Anyway, it would be in that trending category where we were looking, but it would be down the list of, of ways because it hasn't been on for a while, so people haven't been watching it, okay? But if you want to watch it, you can just, you know, put it in your favorites Actually, when, when it starts to, when it comes back, it will automatically end up in trending and you'll see it and you'll say, well, that, you know, Ozark's back or whatever it may be. Okay, as you can see, there's Ozark, season one, season two. And I'm just going to back out. I'm going to get out of this. I just wanted to just show you kind of what it looks like. Uh, all right, now... The next one here, cinema, we're going to go in and out of that one real quick, too. This is very similar to uh, to Cyberflex, which was the first one. Okay, this opens up 
into the popular category. Actually, it'll it'll open up into the last one you were in. So if I leave, if I go to trending, then it will it will open at trending next time. But it's very similar to uh, to Cyberflix. Okay, so let me zip over here, and I want to pick something. I don't know. Let's just pick anything. When you pick it, it comes up a little bit differently right here. Now here's the seasons to to the whatever it is I pick. I can't. I don't even know what the heck it was. But anyway, you can pick whatever season you want and and watch it. And, and I'm not. What is that? Criminies? Holy crow, don't even know what the heck that is. Something's screwy here. Yeah. Anyhow, I'm going to back out of that and exit that. And I'm going to go over to TTV. It's another one, same thing, only different. <clears throat> okay. If I scroll over to the left, I can go down to search, discover movies, TV shows, and things like that. Uh, or I can just zip over here, and then I can go to top rated on across the top on the airing today. If I go to the top rated, this is what we're going to get. Okay. Now, oh, one other thing I do want you to notice is down at the bottom, you can see that there are some advertisements. Okay. These advertisements do not happen in the middle of your movies or anything. This is pretty much the extent of it. And the reason I do the ones or install the ones with these here uh, advertising advertisements in it is because if you don't, you will not get the updates. Okay, that's how they get you. They say, well, you can get it without, you know, without the advertisements, but every time there's an update, you got to bring it in and uninstall it and reinstall it. And, you know, and it's, it's really uh, a pain in the neck and you don't want to have to do that. Okay, the idea here is for me to put stuff on so that you do not have to bring it back to me. Okay, uh, so when there's an update for this, it'll come up automatically and say, there's an update, click here, you click on it, you install the update, and then you're good to go till the next time. All right, so that's the story on that. Let me back out of here and get out. All right, now I'm going to take you to these two. This is Mob Drill and this is Live Net TV. Mob Drill and Live Net TV both give you uh, a live TV, national and international, but not local, okay? This is what the menu looks like when you get in, all right? If you wanted to, let's see, where are we here? Let me get down here. You want to go to channels, you got, there's your, there's your standard network channels, okay? TV, you know, uh, USA, FX, oh, see, now here's a, no, um, an, an example of an update. See, we just had an update for a mob row. This is what'll come up. You, you'll hit the enter button to say, okay, continue. And when you do, this is what'll come up. You'll scroll down to the bottom. You see where it says cancel? Just go over to install and just install. Now, normally this install will take a minute or less, okay? And when it does, then you're going to be back up to date again, like you know, which is where we want to be, so that you can do this stuff yourself. Okay, just give it a little bit of time. I'm doing this in uh, live time so that you can see exactly how long it takes. Uh, so far, so good. Let's see. Okay, here we go. It's installed. We're down to done. All right, now we're gonna click on it again. <clears throat> All right, so we're back to that menu again. I'm gonna I'm gonna scroll down here to this row here. If I scroll all the way across to about, you can see that's the update we just did, 2.1.40. So let me back out, and we're gonna go back up here to channels. 
so I can show you what's in there, ABC, CBS, whatever, you know, these are, like I said, this is not just the United States, it's other places too, Discovery and These are all nice, but this really isn't where you're going to be. You're not going to be watching live TV. You're not, you're not going to be watching things <clears throat> on HBO here when you have a better place to do it, okay? Now, I'm going to back out. Now, the things that you would use this for is like news, okay? When these networks come up, I mean, you get to pick any one of these, and these are live. So, I mean, if you wanted to watch, you know, Fox News, it would be live. The same thing you would if you had cable or Fox Business, or CNN, or whatever it is. All right, so I'm just gonna back out of that right now. And I'm gonna to go to sports. Now this is another spot you may use this for. You, you know, if you have something on ESPN, or NFL Network, or Major League Baseball Network, or any of these, you can, you can get it here. Now all this, it has these, TSN is Canada, okay, there's TSN 1 through 5, there's all the sky stuff, that's Britain, okay, you get all that stuff, uh, and <clears throat> if you're into, you know, into this stuff, this is, you know, where, where you can get it at, all right, now I'm going to back out of that, uh, another thing interesting about this app here is that if you go all the way over to Others, these here are all live feeds, okay? The, every one of these places has a camera, and what you see is what's happening now, okay? Uh, I don't know, we have, uh, there's, a, there's a Vegas Strip there. I think we've got a few things. It's Fort Myers, okay? Uh, I know that the, the uh, 42nd Street in New York is there. The thing unique, unique about the 42nd Street one is the camera actually moves so you can, it scrolls or <coughs> across. Let me just, I'm gonna go to the top here. I'm just gonna go into uh, Milan Cathedral in Italy just to, so you can see just what it's about. Okay, guys, move. Let's go. All right, see? So there you are. If you've never been there before, now you have. I seem to go there every day when I'm doing these demos. It's always crowded. That I can tell you. Okay. Okay, I'm going to back out of that. And back out of that. And I'm going to back out one more time. And now I'm back to the menu. And I'm now I'm going to go to live net TV. Okay, live net TV. This is just like Mobdro, only a little, has a little more stuff in it. It takes a little longer to boot up, and it's, as you'll see, it's gonna look a little complicated when you get in there, but really it's not. It's actually, I'm, I think it's simpler. Once you find what you want, you put it in your favorites, you're one click away from everything. Okay, now when I set these up, I put, some things in favorites already, okay? If you look at the top left-hand corner, you'll see that little like hamburger menu up there in black. If I scroll down one notch to that heart and then I click on the enter button, those are the things I've put in favorites. These are just the normal ABC, CBS, Fox, and NBC. It's not out of Tampa though. It's probably gonna be out of New York or something similar, okay? Um, in fact, I'll just go to CBS here and I'll just give it a click. It'll come up and say you got multiple links to select the top one. Okay, we're always going to use MX Player. It's not going to add. Once I say always, it's never going to ask again. All right. Small, just. Okay, have no idea what we're watching. Probably a soap opera or something on CBS. Okay, so I'm just going to back out of that. And back out of that. And we're out of that. Oh, you know what? Let me go back in real quick again. Because we have the we have other things. There's some other things I really want to show you. I'm getting a little too complicated myself here. I just wanted to do an overview. But 
let's say news or you wanted news, just go over to news and click on that. And we are always, you notice it says Pakistani. Well, the second one down is always Indian. And then the third one down is always the United States. Okay. In sports, it's not the United States. It's international of which we're, we're in it. But okay. Here's the news channels. Like if you wanted to put one of these in your, in your favorites, just, you just go to the one that you want. Okay. I'm kind of partial to Fox News. And when it's when it's red like that, just hit the enter button, hold it for a few seconds, and then just add the favorites. So now you never have to come back here again. Okay, it's a one-time deal. All right. So, or it could be something else. I mean, if you were into sports, you got the same same kind of thing with a third one down, and we're in international. Okay, and you can see all it is French and is British and, and, and uh, Canadian, whatever, a whole bunch of stuff in there. You pick pick the one that you want. If you, there's the NFL Network, for an example, what did I do? I went too far. Uh, oh, how did I get in news, by the way? That's what I did wrong. That's what I did wrong. Get up there. Well, that was annoying. Better be careful. I go, I click this thing fast and then it responds and then I I'm in, end up in trouble. See, like I just did that too. Let's see. Okay. TSN. Sky Sports. Okay, there's the NFL Network right there. And now I'm going to hit the Enter button and hold it and add it to Favorites. Okay, then if I just hit the Return button, I get out of it totally. All right, sometimes it's easier to do that and then get back in. Once you get back in, you just click on the heart. And there's all the favorites that I had, and there's the two I added. And so you go from there. Okay, this does have some other things in it. Like uh, you, if you click on these things, they're going to give you the networks from there. Uh, I had somebody buy two fire sticks a couple of weeks ago because of that German app. They saw that when they clicked on it, all the uh, networks from Germany were in there, and they were you know, really happy. <laughs> so, anyhow, I'm going to back out of that now. Now, the next one here is Smart YouTube. This one is YouTube. If you're familiar with YouTube at all, that's all it really is. Uh, it's just, it's easy to use with the, with the uh, Fire Stick remote. Okay. All right. When you first get into it, it's going to be, it's generic. It's not on anybody's account. It's going to be just whatever, you know, whatever you see or whatever they think is most popular. What you really want to do is you want to go over to the left and then you want to scroll down to that icon that I just, that I'm on over there and you want to sign in. When you hit sign in on the right, it's going to tell you on your phone or your computer, go to youtube.com slash activate. And then when you do, a box is going to open up and it's going to allow you to put this code in that's there. In this particular case, it's Y-P-T-N-D-D-C-S-P. You can leave, leave a space between them. I, they don't have to be uppercase when you put them in. I always just put them in lowercase and... And, but I do put the space in. I don't know if I, we need it or not. But within about 10 seconds, then this is on your account. And your YouTube history will be there. And you'll be able to do everything, you know, you want on on here. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to back, hit the return button. And get out. Okay. These three here... I, like I said, I may, may have said before, these are all movie stations that that uh, Amazon allows you to put on if you have 
a credit card linked to your account. Actually, I don't think you need the credit card for that one, but Tubi and Pluto, you do. And internet, that's that's uh, Yahoo, or not Yahoo, that's Amazon's uh, browser, really, what it amounts to. I don't use it uh, for anything other than this is where I put my sports apps that uh, that I put on. There's, there's my links to my sports sports apps that uh, if you're interested in that I will show you how to use it and go from there if you these are actually where you, you can watch the games that you want to watch okay I'm just going to back out of here and back out of that and now there and I'm going to hit the home button and that's it oh, you see where it says recent there these are all the places we just were Okay, that I just took you through. And they can be eliminated just by hitting the menu button on the remote and remove it from reach. And anyway, that's that's it for this. And uh, if you're interested, talk to me about it and uh, we can go from there. Thank you.